Hi everyone, welcome to this session. In this session, I am continuing bar graph data interpretation. First of all, we need to read the information carefully and then we need to solve the questions according to the given information. Here the information is about a number of mobile phones and laptops sold by six different companies in a month. Here the information is very easy to understand. Here the information is about uh, how many mobile phones and how many laptops are sold by six different companies in a month. Here total we have six different companies. Those are P, Q, R, S, T, U. These are the six different companies uh, and uh, number of mobile phones sold and also laptops sold. These values are given in terms of thousands. These values are given in terms of uh, thousands. See, for company P, for company P, number of mobile phones sold, that is 17,000. Whereas number of laptops sold, which is 13,000. Number of laptops, uh, 13,000. Similarly, number of mobile phones sold by company Q, that is 22,000. Laptops uh, 18,000 for R that is uh, 33 and 27 like that we need to take the values okay based on the given uh, information we need to solve the questions uh, one by one look at the first question here this is the first question what is the average number of mobile phones uh, sold by all companies taken together in a month here we need to calculate the average of mobile phones average of mobile phones right average of mobile phones in general average is equal to what sum of observations by number of observations here we need to take uh, as we are calculating average of mobile phones uh, here we need to take a uh, sum of mobile phones sum of mobile phones uh, divided by total number of companies total companies total how many companies are there total companies that is the required average therefore the average of mobile phones which is equal to sum of mobile phones all first bars in each and every company represents mobile phones and the second bar is representing laptop but here we are talking about mobile phones so we need to take all first bars in each and every company here in the given question he is asking us to calculate in terms of thousands so the values are also given in terms of thousands so directly we can take uh, respective values no need of taking in terms of uh, thousands in the options all the values are given in terms of thousands itself okay now in the first uh, company that is p mobile phones uh, 17 plus uh, company q mobile phones 22 Company R, mobile phones 33 plus company S, mobile phones uh, 13 and next company T, mobile phones 15 and at last company U, company U, mobile phones uh, 20, mobile phones 20. These are the values of uh, mobile phones uh, in each and every company, okay, divided by total how many companies are there total all together six companies are there so that you need to divide with uh, six therefore the average of required mobile phones is equal to now you can add all the values uh, you will get the resultant and then divided by six right see here first uh, 20 plus 15 20 plus 15 which is uh, 35 right uh, or else we'll do one thing 17 plus 33 that is 50 50 plus 20 70 70 plus uh, 15 85 85 plus 13 85 plus 13 98 98 plus 200 plus 20 120 120 divided by 6 120 divided by 6 which is equal to you can cancel with directly 6 table 6 2 are 12 and 0 therefore Average of mobile phones, average of uh, mobile phones sold by all companies together in a month, which is uh, 20,000. 
in the options we have a 20 which is there in option b option b is the right answer for this question option b let us look at the second question in the second question is what percent what percent the number of mobile phones sold by company u more than that of company t here also we are talking about mobile phones we are talking about mobile phones uh, and uh, company and we are talking about company u and company t here mobile phones are representing first bars in each and every company first company u company u mobile phones are 20 20,000. Don't take in terms of thousands. Okay. Why? Because anyhow we are calculating percentage. And next company T mobile phones. That is 15. Company T mobile phones. That is 15. Now the question what he is asking is. Here company U mobile phones. This value. How much percentage more than this value? 15. 20 is how much percentage more than 15 as we know that percentage more than percentage more than is equal to difference between those two difference between those two divided by less value divided by less value into 100 into 100 that will give us a uh, uh, you know percentage more than value so how can you calculate percentage more than all values are here itself difference between those two 20 minus 15 divided by less value here the less value is 15 into 100 percentage and then required percentage more than that is difference is 5 5 by 15 into 100 percentage 5 ones are 5 3 times 1 by 3 into 100. 1 by 3 into 100 which is uh, 33 1 by 3 percentage. 33 1 by 3 percentage. It means that uh, the number of mobile phones sold in company U. That particular value was 33 1 by 3 percentage more than that of uh, number of mobile phones sold in company T. That is the meaning of that question. Date for our required answer is uh, option A, 33 1 by 3 percentage. That is the required answer for this question. Let us look at the third question. What is the average number of laptops sold by companies PRT? That we need to calculate in terms of thousands itself. Here also we need to calculate the average. As we know that average is equal to sum of observations sum of observations divided by number of observations sum of observations divided by number of observations so first calculate average of uh, laptops here we are talking about uh, laptops average of laptops uh, over the companies prt PRT. These are the companies we are talking about. Now, sum of laptops in these three companies. Here, the laptops are indicating the second bars in each and every company. So, P, first P, that is 13. Next, R, 27. And next, uh, T, T is equal to 12. Now, you can take all the values. Uh, don't write in terms of thousands. Why? Because here we need to calculate the answer in terms of thousands itself. So take the direct values. First value is 13 plus 27 plus 12 divided by number of uh, values we have taken into consider. That is 3 divided by 3. Therefore, our required average is uh, you can add these three values. 13 plus 27 which is 40, 40 plus 12, 40 plus 12, 52, 52 by 3, 52 by 3. That is the required average but uh, here this particular value is not cancelled and uh, we have the options in terms of uh, mixed fraction, right? So, you just convert this fraction into mixed fractions. Here it is one time 
and then 22 means uh, 7 times. 17 3s are 51, still 1 is the remainder. Still 1 is the remainder. 17 1 by 3000. 17 1 by 3000. That is the required answer for this question. Option B is the right answer for this question. Option B. Let us look at the fourth question. What is the respective ratio between number of mobile phones sold by company T? Here we need to calculate uh, mobiles of company T to the laptops sold by company Q. Laptops sold by company Q. Right? So we need to take the ratio of these two. Mobile phones of company T, laptops of company Q. First, uh, mobile phones representing first bars, company T mobile phone, that is first bar which is representing 15. Next, uh, laptops are representing with second bar and we are talking about company Q, second bar company Q which is equal to 18. Uh, so, 15 is to 18, that is our answer. You can cancel with uh, 3 table. 3 5s, 3 6s. 5 is to 6 is the required ratio. 5 is to 6 is the required ratio for this question. Option D is the right answer for this question. Option D. Last question in this session. What is the respective ratio of number of laptops sold by company Q and company R? Here we need to calculate the ratio of uh, number of laptops uh, sold by company Q is to laptops sold by laptops sold by company R. Laptops sold by company Q to the laptop sold by company R that is the ratio we need to calculate. Here the laptops are indicating second bars in each and every company. First one is company Q, second bar value that is uh, 18 and uh, company R, second bar value which is 27. 18 is to 27. Here you can cancel with 9 table. 9 2 sir and next 9 3 sir. 2 is to 3. 2 is to 3 is the required answer for this question. Once look at the options, option A is the right answer for this question, option A. In this way, you can solve the problems related to this bar graph. Uh, and I hope you understand each and every problem in this session. And thank you. Thanks for watching.